Hi, Douglas Spencer here, and I am here with a special banter with my friend and colleague, Matt Wilder of Wilder Strategies. And this is June, and June is traditionally known as Pride Month for LGBTQ folks. And I thought, what a great opportunity to talk about something that's uh, starting to pop up more and more, and that is the use of pronouns. And Matt is going to help us uh, unpack all of that. So Matt, hello. Welcome. Hey, Douglas. Thanks for having me. Excited to be with you. My pleasure. I'm glad you're here. So first of all, let's tell us a little bit, tell everybody a little bit about um, you and your business and what you do. Sure. Well, uh, thanks again for having me. Um, I am the principal at Wilder Strategies. It's a strategic communications firm located here in Boston. And I generally work with uh, nonprofits and uh, government leaders um, and some campaign work to help tell good stories through the media and through uh, other uh, vehicles that we can use to help tell and uh, advance a cause or uh, you know, help uh, explain or uh, advance a, a common, um, you know, common cause. So it's all good work. I've enjoyed doing it. Uh, prior to this, I worked for Governor Patrick and his administration. I was chief of staff and communications director uh, to his secretary of education in the final two years of his administration and came to that work after having worked for Mayor Menino uh, in his administration as the spokesperson for the Boston Public Schools. Um, and my career started in television news uh, as a producer at uh, Channel 5 in Boston. So wow. uh, bringing that kind of journalistic lens to the work that I do. Um, so you mentioned uh, doing some work on um, uh, referendums and I think you might have one that is particularly uh, uh, prudent to what we're talking about today. You wanna to tell us a little bit about your work on Yes on Three? Yeah, in 2018, a ballot question came before state voters uh, asking if they would uphold a law that was in place that protected transgender people from discrimination in public places. This is a law that had already been passed by the legislature in an overwhelming fashion, had been signed into law by Governor Baker, a Republican, for those who don't know. And uh, so we had bipartisan support. And then opponents of transgender equality collected enough signature to put it on the ballot for that year's uh, election for a ballot question. So, um, you know, I, I always say as a, as a, as a gay man, um, I had a lot to learn about um, the kind of inequality and discrimination that our transgender friends and family faced. Um, and that was a real learning experience for me, but I was so glad to be in that fight. And uh, ultimately we won um, in uh, you know, quite his, uh, overwhelming fashion and made history along the way. It was the first time a ballot question um, on transgender rights had been on the ballot in the United States and we won. So that uh, meant a lot. That's great. Yeah, that's great. And yeah, that was a, uh... I remember the ballot question and all the work that went into it, but you make a really good point in that even members of the LGB community have a lot to learn and understand about the, the letter T, the transgender portion of our community. And I think that's one of the reasons why I wanna have this conversation now because we're more and more corporations are embracing the idea of adding pronouns to um, their email signatures. So as you, if anybody's noticing, we're on Zoom right now and both, uh, both Matt and I have he, him, and his because those are our preferred pronouns. Um, but why is this important for the transgender community for everyone to embrace using pronouns? Well, first of all, I think it's important that we, uh, as we meet people, particularly in business settings and professional settings, that we're not making assumptions uh, by the way someone is dressed or how they look. Um, you know, gender identity is very personal. And so that really does belong to that person. Uh, and so they get to decide what their pronoun is. And of course, um, there's more than two, and we'll, I'm sure, discuss that in a moment. But, um, you know, I think the way that we can make sure that our transgender friends and neighbors know that we're in this fight with them is by all, all of us stepping forward and saying, you know what, we're all going to be on the same page here and make it very clear. So people don't have to make assumptions when they enter a conversation or a meeting or, or uh, any kind of uh, social interaction. Right. And I heard someone speak once, and I thought this was, was brilliant. They said, and this is something that people prefer, and it costs you absolutely nothing to do. That's this right. is some, it's a way you can help other people, and it won't cost you a penny. Um, I think it also signifies to the, to the uh, world, particularly in the business world, 
um, that you are a company that values um, acceptance and uh, is going to be proactive about it and is going to make that kind of the baseline for how you do business and conduct business. Yeah, that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. What would you say to someone who says, it is completely obvious what ProDown I would want to use. Why do I have to do this? Yeah. Well, they, you may feel that way, right? But uh, the person sitting next to you may not. So, um, and it may not be obvious. Uh, perhaps they think it is. So again, it takes away the assumption. It takes away, um, you know, the, the guessing game um, that maybe happens in our heads. So um, I think that, you know, it also creates a level of comfort for everybody where you don't have to feel as though you're making an incorrect assumption. Um, and I think also, you know, for transgender people, it just gives a level of comfort that there's not going to be that awkward exchange or moment if someone uses uh, the wrong pronoun. And I should be honest, you know, I think, in, you know, I fully acknowledge this. I have uh, ways to go on this as well. I have used the um, wrong pronoun with people I'm friendly with um, in situations. It's especially hard, I think, if you are friends with someone at, you know, before they transition um, and getting used to that. We all have to do better. Um, and, you know, there are ways to kind of, you know, apologize for that and move on. I think in some cases it's better not to make a big deal of it. Um, it's just, a, you know, more um, thoughtful to uh, correct it the next time and make sure that you are affirming that as you move forward in the conversation. Um, because the last thing we want to do is put a huge spotlight on someone uh, and make them feel uncomfortable. Right, right exactly. All right, so here's another question that I know people have on their minds. How can a person be a they? Well, gender is a spectrum, right? And so um, there is the, uh, you know, the, the very simple understanding of gender that many people know, uh, male and female. Of course, now we understand that gender is a spectrum and that there are many um, kind of positions along that spectrum. And so some people don't identify with he or him or he her, hers, right? Um, and so they choose to uh, identify as they or them, um, which is, you know, commonly uh, known as non-binary. Um, some people like to be, will use either uh, pronoun. They'll say, my preferred pronouns are he, him, or they, their. Uh, either one is fine. And so that gives people a little bit of a more understanding of what, again, is acceptable um, for people and what makes them most uh, comfortable um, as they kind of navigate their own their own uh world mm -hmm. right okay well thank you very much i appreciate your time and i appreciate your work um with uh, yes on three a couple years ago i'm really glad there are people out there like you who can help tell stories that need to be told if somebody wants to get in touch with you how would they do that Excellent. Well, they can visit me at my website at wilderstrategies.com. All my contact information is on there and I'd be glad to hear from them. All right. Well, thank you very much. And thanks anybody who's watching. We appreciate it and uh, have a great day.